Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Diva. Interesting. Do I know what Diva is? I don't think I do. Windwall isn't bad. Circuit Stinger just applies poison to everything, I'm pretty sure. Gravity Beam is nice. This guy has extra gold, and I am pretty good with the Barbarian, and we could reveal a new trait, so I think I will choose Lady Alex's second. And let's discover exactly what Diva is. Oh dear. Everybody gets a spotlight, but all eyes are on you. Okay, so all enemies are going to get highlighted. Oh, it's a darkness mechanic. I do not like it. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Um, okay, let's see what kind of money we can spend over in the manor. Um, I definitely want more rune weight. So I think I'm going to buy that. And I definitely like more strength. And so I think I'm going to buy that. And that's all my money. All right, great. Uh, I'm not going to enjoy this character, so let's just get them done with. Let's head to... Actually, let's head to Pish and Dry Lake, where everything's in darkness anyway. That's a clever idea. I like this. Let's turn my disadvantage into an advantage. Okay. So, we are down here. All right, and attenuation forks and auditory mapping could be acoustic property, estuary to ball, blah, blah, blah. It's been a while since I've been down here. Something about the forks. All right, I don't really know. Um, I have a wind wall thing. Uh, that was the wrong button. That I can cast downwards. Or in any direction. Uh, but there's nobody in here. Okay. Um, there's an enemy down there, and I did not get any light for that enemy. So apparently my clever idea doesn't work. And in fact, it is the case that I still can't see the bad guys in this area. Okay, so we're just going to be super, super dead. <sighs> Which is fine. Um, I thought I was being clever. Didn't quite work out as well as I'd hoped. So we'll see what we can do. Alright, we're at least killing some bad guys. We're going to get a chest. Etc. Uh... Oh, because I'm a diva and I got a crit or something, all of a sudden the crowd cheered, I think is maybe what happened there, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Or maybe because I got the chest. Maybe it was the chest that caused the crowd to cheer. I don't know what's going on. Oh boy. Alright, so those things shoot spooky fireballs or whatever. Lava is your name? Sure, whatever. Um, got it. There's a platform here. Alright. This is not so bad. Yeah, I... Okay. It's fine. Maybe we'll find a good blueprint in here somewhere. That could compensate me somewhat. For all the risk I'm taking on. Uh, what does this say? Storeroom. Uh, tell me about the storeroom. Uh, it's a room with lore, page torn at the edges, 33 days since the rebellion. All right, empty, under-equipped. Tubal was my brother. This is Irad's notes. Find my brother, okay. Map of the storage room. Nails, links, ropes, farming equipment, misc. 
Weaponry, armor, accessories, exit. All right, well, there's lots of, but this is just gonna be a war room, so none of this is actually going to have anything in it, just as it said. I do wanna make sure that there's not a, like, fireplace nestled in a corner, which I'm definitely not seeing in here. Any other type of secret that could be hiding in here? I don't think so. All right, so that's the storeroom. Outside here, okay, in this area we could still find, hey, chicken leg, nice. That's actually quite helpful. All right, and that's just the label that says it was the storeroom. And here's a tuning fork. So, tuning fork. Can you explain to me what you are? Because I didn't quite understand before. Can I interact with you? I don't see a way to interact with you. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm looking at over here. Uh, a bunch of enemies. Got it. We'll just stand in their face and kill them. Because that's what we do. Ouch. Ah, shit. Uh, let's just do that. Bubbly fish. Hey, okay, super crit is what gave me the cheer. Got it. Okay. Um, since this isn't working the way I hoped, let's go ahead and teleport back to a different zone and try to get some health back. I thought I was being super clever. Turned out not to quite work out that way. It could have worked out a different way. I might have been super clever. I was glad to have had the idea, even if it didn't work out. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. The Steva thing. Darkness mechanics are not my thing. Chicken legs, however, those are totally my thing. Um, two second cooldown. You know what, I can deal with that. There's already a little bit of a cooldown in terms of uh, swinging your axe while you're standing on the floor. So what's a little bit more? Alright, we found the boss room for some free chests. That's great. And we got this thing. Um, I bet you I can heal up. Let's take some more damage. And if I don't, it means we get rid of the diva even sooner. <laughs> Which is also perfectly fine, quite honestly. All right, uh, right, cool down. All right. <laughs> I do like the cheering. I am a fan of the ridiculous cheers whenever I do something great. So kudos to that aspect. If I could have that without the spotlights, then the diva class would be totally worth it. And let's see, I can spin kick even if I can't use my main weapon ability. So I can use that as a backup when I'm just in need. Hey, there's a chicken leg. Nice. When I'm just in need of uh, having to deal some damage somehow. Ouch, in the meantime. And nice. We got some ore. Very good, very good. That'll work. Great. I like the roses being thrown at me as well. Alright, so it's not all bad being a diva. We get pretty flowers. We get cheering. Let's just go ahead and Head on through that room. Come on, nice. Uh, let's use spin kicks. Oh. Get through there. Didn't work out as well as I hoped. All right, ability ready. In this case, the ability is the ability to swing my axe. Hooray! Didn't quite get that off fast enough. There we go.
Very good. Uh, let's use our wind wall. That was good. I'm happy with how that turned out. Sure, let's go up here. And let's just move along. Sometimes you just gotta move along. Let's see, this is the type of room... Oh, it's just a war room. I was thinking it might be a room with a secret. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, kablam! Oh boy, you... Ouch. He snuck up on me. Super crits! Let's see. This is just gonna cycle me back around to this room again. Uh, where does this bring me? Over here. Sure. We'll do that. And that. Not getting as much health back as I was hoping here in the castle, but it's difficult when you can't see anything. Kind of plan your route accordingly. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Let's see, is this the sun tower? No, this is a Stygian study. Um, yeah, I'm not enjoying this character, so let's fight around up here until we die. Alright, let's, uh, hit you like that. Alright, I see you. I'm just gonna avoid you. Ditto for you. Oh boy. Uh, is there a chest at the bottom of this? There is. Oh, we got a pizza. That's actually super great. Oh boy, you're throwing knives. Hey, cut it out. There's the chest. I found it. And now I need to climb out of here, so I might as well kill you in order to get the adoring cheers of the crowd, as I so deserve. Very good. Nice. There's a chest above me, containing monies. Uh, this is a teleporter because it's one of the boss room thingies. Yep, uh-huh. That's not a great room for me, so let's pick a different one. Oops, I got stood on. I see that thing up there. Ah, I did it again. Let's spin kick you to death? Sure. I wonder if there's just like a certain enemy that I defeat that ends up giving the cheers. Uh, that's an enemy. It's got a spotlight on it. Also, it was not glowing like chests glow. So that's an interesting side effect of the diva that kind of works in the player's favor, which is that the uh, mimics stand out. There's a real chest over there, I believe. All right, Fentry, you're almost dead. Which means I can do that to finish you off. And then grab my money. And sure, we'll take this one this time in order to stay alive for a little while longer. That's a Mimic. That is also a Mimic. Thanks for the monies. I guess the boss wouldn't be so bad, necessarily. So let's see. I get most of my healing if we could fight the boss, and so maybe I should do that. And is there anything in here that I would want? Not really. And so we'll see if we can find 
place to fight Enoch. Oh, come on, ability. I need to hurry up and kill some guys. But if we die, uh, that's fine. Alright, good. Oh, I think I found him. Terrific. Okay, let's give him a try. I got a lot of HP. And just having a spotlight on him is the worst thing in the world. There's tons of things to avoid in here, but I've got a wind wall and a scream, which are actually really good things to have versus uh, this boss. Oh boy, I should have dashed through that though. However, the cooldown is definitely a thing. Oh boy. Okay, you do that. Sure. Uh, I should have done that again. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. Yeah, two second cooldown is definitely going to cap my uh, damage output here. So that's a little bit problematic. Oh boy. Right. Oh boy, you're doing a thing. Alright, well, that happened. Alright, I did manage to transform him, though. Because I do deal so much damage. So that is cool. Alright, good. So many damage fields. Just avoid. Ah, I tried to use my cooldown, or my spell. Thingy, something. We'll go ahead and do that deal a little bit of extra damage. Alright, hurry up. No oh, gosh. Alright, three, two, one, zoom! Ah, I didn't manage to zoom. Alright, I'm almost dead. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Ah, I don't have that. I don't have enough mana. I've almost got him, but I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off. Can I get one more? Hey, it did! Look at that. 3 HP. Oh! He still got me. Hmm. Interesting. Does it show me as killing him? No. I thought that final hit had gotten him, but I guess he still had a little bit of hit points left. I'm not sure what happened there. I'll be able to watch it back. A duelist with hollow bones. Cartographer... Weird mushrooms, fireball, it's not bad. Super Ibe, yes. We got the super fart, which is kind of like the extra double jump. So this guy could jump really high. And stew. I do enjoy the Gun Slinger. And I'd be able to find maps to go different places. So I think let's choose this character. And how much money did I make on that run? Enough to buy some things. Um, I definitely want more rune weight. So let's purchase that, and then I want more strength. So we'll purchase that. And with that, is there any chance that I can equip? I was having a terrible dream. All right, the uh, totems don't eat. So, I have enough that I could buy another rune, and there was one that gives me more uh, resolve. Yes, this. I want to buy and equip that and have more resolve. Great. And then... Yeah, I've used up all my rune weight. Alright. In terms of what I've got, I've got this. We got that. I need to remember that it gives me a little hop. I've got this kind of crazy fireball thing. Great. And what were my spore burst? Uh huh. And cartographer. Great. So I can see the maps. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do with this. Pizza girl wants to talk. I'm not going to talk to her. Let's go to, hmm. I 
I feel like I should start in the Sun Tower. I need practice in this area. So let's see what we can do. And we'll back back off into the castle as needed. All right, and I need to dash into that for a boost, right? Void lifts, reset your dashes, okay. Uh, what are you? Have I seen you before? I don't know. Ouch. All right. Uh, reload. There we go. All right. You definitely need to go. And these are resonant. Yeah, so I can jump off of them. Oh! And doing that causes them to hide in the floor briefly. Okay. I'm learning all kinds of new things right here at the beginning. Who knew? And... Yeah, and learning all that didn't cost me anything because we got a chicken leg. Perfect. Alright, very good. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload. I do want that, and I just so happen to have a lot of double jumps. So that'll be easy to get safely. Right, and I'm a cartographer, so let's actually inspect the map here for a moment. Um, so I just opened that chest. And so there's going to be a fairy chest coming up in a giant room in a little bit, but I need to go right and then up and then left. Okay. Uh, can I shoot downwards like this? Yes. Great. Love it. Right. Okay, so this is a crazy gigantic room that I need to get to the top of somehow. Okay. Um, are you resonant? I don't think so. Yeah, you guys are just... Oh, Blink! I see, you teleport. Got it. I missed that before. And that's uh, pretty obnoxious, actually. <laughs> um, also, you guys are really hard to hit. Okay. Finally got a Spore Burst that killed both of you. Well, I guess I can just do this. And is this where I wanted to go? Um, I think so. Let's imagine that it is. All right, good. And let's also remember that I have this ability, which is pretty good. I might be going the wrong way. Also, okay. There we go. Yeah, so I think I didn't get high enough. So let's try to get higher. Great. Uh, hey, crazy bat. Become one with the bullets. Alright, there's a crazy dash platform thingy. Which I don't need to use because, oops. I could just kind of do some spin kicks and aerial recoveries and things, and this just brings me to a chest. I was thinking this was going to be the upper left exit, so that was not worth it. Um, so, in that case, I'm going to do. Oops. Oh, yuck. Uh, that's really bad, actually. Alright, we're almost dead. So I guess this was the upper left exit? Oh, this is a different room. Alright. I'm confused. What else is new? Uh, let's do some of this. Crap. I don't know how to deal with you. Alright. Be patient. Okay, you do all of a sudden dash at me. Shara, yeah, I remember you. Okay. I am very nearly dead. So... I'm still going to continue anyway. Alright, Link is going to be a problem because you're going to teleport. I saw where you teleported though. And I got you. And now I'm going to get you again. Oh, I'm reloading! Darn it. Okay. All right, I learned some things. And we get a cutscene. Crafted from the seed for a sin unresolved. All righty. It's not bad. Another cartographer. 
and a duelist. None of these are revealing any new traits, so let's re-roll and see if we can find something new. Nothing. IBS. Here we go. Aerodynamic and Hero Complex on a Valkyrie. We haven't played a Valkyrie in a little while, and Prismatic Spectrum is kind of fun. All right, let's choose this character. Do I have enough money to buy anything? Yes. Um, let's check out what these stats are. Your spin kick is replaced with down strike. Interesting. All right. And hero complex. 100% more health, but you can't heal ever. Oh, interesting. So I start out with a ton of health, but that's it. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, what would I choose to unlock here? And also, I was considering uh, unlocking a new class. Like, we haven't played Valkyrie in a while. Remind me if Valkyrie has done this for the one thing you could do. A simple start. Valkyrie, zero points. Ha 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 ha! Okay, let's start by doing this before I change classes then. And let's try to get ourselves some points. Um, crit chances, eh. Health drops, eh. Uh, it's also not great. But I guess I'll take this one. And hope that we get a better bonus in the other one. So over here... Uh, it's not bad. Avoid a fatal blow. Sure, let's take it and hope that it helps me at the end. Okay, but we could potentially get a gold trophy. I think if I do well in here. So let's try to do well in here. I forgot about my spell. Uh, so let's be reminded what it is. It is that, which applies a bunch of status effects. Got it? Okay, let's go eat a chicken leg. I can attack in multiple directions which is pretty cool. And I can also do stuff like that in order to get mana back, right? Which means I can use my spell again in order to hit a bunch of guys, which is pretty great. Okay. So I think I know how to play this character. And I think I can do some great things if I'm careful. And I've forgotten how to skill crit with this character, though. So, let's figure that out shortly. Um, but maybe after this little combat challenge. Oh boy. Oh, I don't have enough mana. In that case, let's do that. There we go. I like that. <laughs> All right, I have a strategy. It is to use my spell. All right, we did it. A simple start. How many points did I get? Is it enough to earn me my gold trophy? Gold trophy awarded, hooray. All empathies unlocked. So I get more soul, which means I can go purchase something over here. Um. So let's see. Higher level runes can now be found. That would be good. I definitely like getting more max rune level. I would like to upgrade some of my runes. But what else do we have? Uh, upgrades in the manor. Limitless potential is mastery level. I'm not bumping my head against those either. So yeah, I think the runic horizons are what I want next. So I'm going to purchase that. Neat. Okay. Very good. Now, having done that with the Valkyrie, now I think I might actually want to change classes. Um, because I could unlock Boxers. I could unlock the Assassin. Let's see. I have a health pool that's going to be doubled, though, and Assassins, I think, have low health. So let's figure out what Boxers are. The gloves are metal. Guns are always loaded. Punch your foes to build up your combo, and then launch fools into other fools. All right, sounds fun. Let's switch to the boxer class. That unlocks even more maximum health potential. Okay, tell me about this crazy character. I hold down the button, and I'm 
getting combos that eventually build into crits once they reach a certain level, but it's a very high level. Um, my weapon is boxing gloves. Hold up and attack to do an uppercut. I see. So I can kind of like end the combo that way. And the uppercut, I guess, is like a super crit. And it also hits above me pretty high. Okay. And talent, knockout punch, can be aimed. Consumes all combo stacks. Damage increase. Oh, I see. So I build up my combo up to like 30. And then I go kablam! And then do like a super duper or whatever. And then it's on cooldown until I start building up combos again. Okay, that's that could be pretty fun, honestly. Um, and I don't have a spin kick, I have a down strike. But I can't ever heal. Okay, so can't ever heal. So don't take damage. Alright, we still got time. Let's try this out. Oh, I was a dummy. I should have played as my new class again. Well, I guess I already got the gold trophy. I'm not sure if there's anything else that I could do there, though, with the new class. Um, let's start... Let's try starting in the Stygian study. Can never heal. I've got a good spell. Okay. Yeah, and if I could find the bot, well, I can never heal. I wonder if the um, the thing that heals me like 80% when I enter the boss arena still applies with this character or not. I'm guessing no, because it does say just straight up never can heal. And the game's usually pretty consistent about that stuff, but I do wonder. I don't really hover in midair, except perhaps if I'm... Oh, that's a mimic. I'm done. All right, I've already taken some damage. Yuck. Let's try this. Blam. Oh, and launch fools into other fools. Okay, so I ate the chicken leg and it did nothing. So I got a chance to witness that. Uh, this is not worth it, actually. That's a mimic. Yeah, it's kind of low basic damage, though, so you kind of just have to save up combos and then do amazing things. Oh, boy. Amazing things all at once with them, it seems like. Also, is this room just a dead end? There was an exit up top, and I missed it. So let's head back over there. All right, I can go ahead and finish you off. So I've got a big combo saved up. Uh, so, for example, I could just go kablam! <laughs> yeah, it didn't even kablam nearly as amazingly as I was hoping to kablam. So yeah, so far it's kind of underwhelming. I do have 165% resolve. Ooh, skeleton key, unlocked fairy chests. I'm gonna leave that there and we might come back to it. And I can never heal, so neither of these choices are any good, right? Uh, I guess I could get some mana back from the other thing, and so I should remember to use my spell occasionally. And what is this? Combat roll instead of the uppercut. It would give me a blessing of talent and remind me. A blessing of talent. Does that increase my max resolve? Yes, it grants me bonus resolve. Alright, I don't know that that's especially valuable right now either. So I think we're just going to move along, little doggy. Um, Alright, let's do some of that. And let's just get out of there for a minute. Alright. Uh, this is the teleporter to void boss something or another. How about this way? Can I defeat you before you hit me? No, I cannot. And then you break up my combo. And I'm losing health. Yuck. Health is never coming back. Oh, and my KO stack, I see. It wears off, so it's not like I can carry it into the next room. I have to use my uppercut 
after having just hit a bunch of guys, because then the combo just wears off over time. So the uppercut is not quite as valuable as I thought. In which case, would I be able to use it effectively against the boss? I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I want that combat roll. I guess if I find more um, more things I'd want to spend resolve. Oops, that was foolish. More things I want to spend resolve on, maybe that could be good. Okay, that's the correct way to get through there. Uh, let's just try going some different directions. What do we have here? Got some pen chest over here. I just punched a painting. Alright. Now that I've done that. Oh boy! Yeah, this is... I think this class does not agree with me. I'm glad to have tried something new. But I think it's not working. And I just woke you up. Yuck. Yeah, I did the same over here. Alright, let's just take the chest and get out of here if I can. So let's see. Do I have any strategy at this point? I don't know that I do. Let's just explore all the rooms and try to find good things. Ah, this is good. Extra damage every sixth hit. I get a sixth hit pretty frequently because uh, I hit a lot. <laughs> all right, and just to double check, it will restore all my mana, so if I spend my mana, that restores it all, but it does give me zero HP. That's what I just wanted to triple check. Okay. Um, there's just chests in there. It's not worth it. I'm just going to try to find the boss to get some practice with them, I think. Oh, boy. Run. All right. Did it. This is not the boss room. And furthermore, there is another exit over here. Um, I don't think it's worth going through that room. How about... Oh, oops. Alright, aerial recovery. Ah. And I didn't see my uh, combo thingy happen. Hmm. My 75% after a 6th hit or whatever it was. Ah, I saw it that time. Alright. Very good. Sure, why not? Alright. Uh, spin kick off of you, and off of you. Actually, it's not a spin kick, it's a down strike. Thanks to my various abilities. Here we go. Okay, found the boss. Let's find out if I heal up for the boss fight. I do not. Okay, as expected. Alright, so we'll see what practice we can get against Dinak. Alright, and I tried doing my uppercut, so why not? Alright, and I just need to dodge some thingies. Let's go ahead and pass that and get some uh, effects on him. And then try to get somewhere. Oops, oh boy. Alright. I see... oh boy. Boom. Ah, it's the wrong thing. I meant to do that. Okay. And we're almost dead. It's fine. Okay. Oh boy. Get out of the way. I'm almost dead. Can I cast this again? No. No mana. Boom. Alright, a bunch of thingies coming my way. I need to get rid of you. Oh boy. Alright, this is good practice trying to dodge all of the projectiles. Oh boy. And we're dead. Okay. 
We got our practice. We tried the boxer class. Um, I do get a rank up, and it gives me more vitality, which is health. So it is good to rank up that character. Um, did not get much money. And I think let's go ahead and select a character for the next episode. Um... We get the Stinger with the Gunslinger. Blaze Bellows, not that great. Uh, the Barbarian, for some reason, has a handheld Ballista because they are a Contrarian. Your weapon and talent are mixed. And a makeshift explosive. Hmm. Can only be fired on the ground. Cannot cancel. Perfect releases are skill crits. I don't think that that's going to be good, actually. And what do you have? Can't see. Oh, yeah, I don't like the traits on you. And, yeah, we keep seeing the stinger, and I want to reveal more uh, traits. So let's go ahead and choose the gunslinger. Verify that it's poisoning, as I suspect. Your weapon attacks one, one stack of poison. Yeah. All right. So I can shoot guys and poison them at the same time. Perfect. All right, so we've got all that stuff going on. And in terms of the monies, where would I choose to spend monies? Like, there is some value in getting more XP games so that I can get uh, my kind of rank ups, but honestly, I think I just want to keep spending things on strength, so I'm going to buy more strength. Because <sighs> that's good for me. Um, okay. Uh, and... Just to verify, after the gold trophy, there wasn't like a platinum trophy or anything here, is there? Yeah, we've already got the gold score. Challenge complete, 300 souls obtained. So I think we got everything we could uh, out of that particular thing you may do. And we still haven't found that. And we still haven't found the secret passage beneath the Mathed statue. Resonant waves crashing against their backs. And then there's all kinds of locked ones still ahead. And two masters is something I could still work on as well. Um, let's, uh, just to finish things off for today, take this gunslinger and try out two masters. Just because I'm not quite ready to quit. So let's see. Skill crits give magic break. Yeah. After taking damage, you're invincible longer. Sure. That'd be helpful. So let's see, versus Twin Lamech. I kind of know what I need to do to dodge. Skill crits become super crits. Remind me, skill crits are just uh, low bullets, right? So I'll get a lot of them. So yeah, let's give him super crits. That sounds good. And finally over here. Um, gain 100 mana when hurt. I'm not going to be using my mana spell all that much. Uh, each unique relic increases your damage by 12%, and I have three relics, so that's 36% damage. That's actually really good. Okay, so we'll be doing good damage output. And I don't need these for any reason. Okay, let's try to go beat up on uh, Super Double Lamech and see how it goes. All right, that's not bad. Reload. Oops, okay. I gotta stay in range, though. Oh, boy. And here comes the mech number two. All right. Oh, boy. I'm gonna try to focus on one of them and see if that's, like, a thing. Uh, it would be really great if I could break this chicken leg out of here before I die. Nope, I just died. <laughs> Okay, that went extremely poorly, so I think we should definitely call it an episode there. <laughs> I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Rogue Legacy 2. For now, bye-bye.